Uh, okay, so when my ambiolic uh, me my ambiolic isn't on the set of the hit Fox sitcom Call Me Cat, which sucks by the way. It's a bullshit sitcom. I don't. I watched know. I don't one episode. That. I. I'd probably giving her a million. I check out uh, every show that comes on every year. Yeah, I'll give like one shot, like a lot of shows, like a one episode shot just to see. Did you watch the the one on? uh, I think it's on CBS with the uh, Cedric the Entertainer, uh, where he he, like he's the black neighbors, the neighbors, and they move it. I've seen a couple of those. Damn it, Lord, you're part of the problem. (laughs) Damn it, you can't do that, man. I don't think my view. one view is going <laughs> to skew the Nielsen's that much. You'd be, that's what they all say, man, and there's millions of you. Well, I mean, that's why I think that show, The Unicorn, is still on there. I mean, I love Walton Goggins, the, <laughs> but that show has got to st- let him out of his contract so he can do some real, like, good shit again. Because he's a oh, good actor. He's such a good actor, and that and shit is so beneath him. And it's it's too yeah. funny what he said to Kurt Sutter so he He's like, he's like, if if I, I'll only come on your show if you give me tits. And he did it, and he made it work. Yeah. No, I, I, <laughs> I saw like, I, th- I think maybe one trailer commercial, whatever, for this, her new Call Me Cat show. Is she, doesn't she run like a cat boarding house? I don't even remember. And I was like, this <laughs> it was, looks, it was this, so good. This looks like. Such it was ass. it was one of the formulae sitcom things. Oh, yeah. It's poorly like it's like I feel like we're sending people from 1995 to the future to make sitcoms. Because yeah, there's a lot of that. It's there's, there's, every, like even like Punky Brewster, the re the reboot uh-huh. of Punky Brewster. I watched the first episode of that because I'm curious. Bye. I don't know that I've ever been that curious about anything in my life before. Well, I'm like, I, I watch know. this. It's like I mean, I, I can't judge because I watch. Four. I, I can't judge real? because I watch <laughs> some <laughs> shit, which I, I, I'll, I'll get <laughs> to. Level of but is special. that's really I'm. I, now I just want to pick your brain and be like, go through lists and be like, did you watch this? Did you watch this? Did you watch this? Because <laughs> I'm. St- I, d- I would never in a million years have been like, oh yeah, no, we're totally not- seen an episode of two of Call Me Cat. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> that many well i'm but sure now i'm gonna set out i'm sure it. it's not it just like i said it it amazes me the the fact that you that you went on to the punky brewster tangent and just dove i mean you really laid yourself out there buddy just dove right in yeah no, and i, I watched open, one yeah what about I had, it? To, I had to open i had to open the app you're di- the, the the peacock I, app to access punky brewster dedication yeah. to get fisted by pop culture is just you're you're like <laughs> with sitcoms the way that i am with horror movies of just like man i don't care how bad it is i'll give it a try <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. I, so i understand the feeling i i i, I can no understand that movies and i guess hey you only spend 20 minutes whereas i spend like 80 <laughs> or 90 um, maybe i'm the real bad one here but no Who's i just got the real problem anyway call me cat yeah <laughs> And while a 45, uh, okay, she's discussing it when she's not taping her show or being on episodes of Jeopardy, she's discussing mental health on her podcast, Me on Bial, I'm just loving butchering, butchering her name, Breakdown. Breakdown. And while and while the 45-year-old neuroscientist explores different topics, sometimes she enjoys putting research and studies to the test, but it doesn't always go as planned. Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. In her latest episode, she spoke to Dr. David Sinclair, a professor of genetics at the Harvard Medical School, about his book, uh, Lifespan, Why We Age and Why We Don't Have to. Before diving into the topic of aging, she decided to try out the sitting rising test. The SRT. Which the book says helps determine a person's biological age. Really? What is the SRT? Is that the... I don't know, but I was talking Sit on the floor barefoot with legs crossed, lean forward quickly and see if you can get up, she she read aloud. Oh, that's the that's the thing where you sit on the floor and then you get up without having to like. All right, you, yeah. like, give it a quick. Test. You sit Indian style and you get up without I'm gonna do it on assisting oh, yourself. Keep reading. See this? Oh, no, I gotta get a picture. Now, where do I have to <laughs> you, forward? you have to sit basically push yourself up with your legs and stand up on your feet. Yeah, without. Okay. Well, I, like I, without I, using your hands. Yep, I just yeah. did it. I passed it at say. forty, almost forty-one. I did it. <laughs> okay and, and, and i'm and i'm disabled yeah you are so i don't know take that <laughs> steve <Knock. laughs> 
<laughs> <laughs> okay, so Stan, With, yeah, so this is that, that, gonna... that girl's like seven. <laughs> oh, it's a drawing. Never mind. <laughs> That's why she looks seven. My eyes are going though, folks. Okay, so Did you have right? to. Well, no. So it's is you don't start from a seated position. You have to sit yourself down cross-legged without, and then get back up. Okay, that's the test. No hands. You can't use your hands. You can't get down on your knees. All right, we're you can't put take your. A video now. I was I mean, gonna say, yeah. Let's let's see this. Like yeah, that? yeah. But just like that, and then you get back. Yeah. Okay. Not okay. bad, son. Yeah. Round of applause. Round I didn't applause. even video it. Fuck. And Somebody give Chris the clap here. There's yeah. no proof. I uh, the, the video. level of pain involved in that is pretty significant, though. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. I kind of want to try it. Yeah. Uh, I did it. I tried it recently, and I'm not in the quite in the physical realm that I need to be to not do it or to do it very gracefully. Oh yeah, there was no grace in mind, but there was definitely a lot of pain. So bend the legs and sit down like that. Yeah. And then. Stand yourself up. Yeah, that was way smoother than mine. <laughs> that was good. Guess All what? Right. I'm not doing it. Guess what? I'm not doing it. <laughs> mine looked like All a right. monkey trying to fuck a doorknob. All right. It was terrible. <laughs> oh. Some okay. Legs Maybe those neck Lean injections are doing more than I thought. See if you can get up. She read aloud. With that, Mayim tried and tried. She tried to get up. Got up and she tried to do the tried exercise. Do Look out, SRT, coming at you, she said. With her fellow co-host boyfriend, Jonathan Cohen. Oh, she's got kids out of wedlock. Jesus. I know. I have one too. But anyway, Mayim struggled to get down to no, the No, she was married and now is divorced. Oh, because he didn't agree with her crazy-ass child rearing ideas. Probably. Probably. Her back has been out for three weeks, and now she's going to do this standing test, Jonathan explained. Afterward, Mayim encouraged her TikTok followers to try out the sitting rising test for themselves. Safely, of course. But first, many folks couldn't hold back their laughter seeing the Gangbang Theory star attempt the challenge. Great job, one person wrote. Girl! Another added. And there's emojis Love in this here woman! Just... Exclamation point times three. Brains, beauty, and humor. She's the whole package. Thank you for all the laughter, a different fan said. This is like a knob polisher yeah. of an article. As for yeah. the fans who tried the sitting rising test, they reported back on their experiences. I can lean forward and make a really loud old lady noise. And I live on the floor now. To which Mayim replied uh, three emojis of some sort. Are they crying laughing? They're yeah. laughing, yeah. Is that the article? That's what I was going to say. And the article ends with the, the beautiful now, ending sentence now let's of give them the, the, just another day on Mayim Bialik's TikTok. Is, Big Bang Theory and Jeopardy fans cannot deal with Mayim Bialik's latest TikTok. You they got us, Delish. How did how us. did that translate to not dealing? Yeah. Well, Thanks it, a lot, Selena Barrientos, with your fucking clickbait. Yeah. Four hours ago, Selena so we, Barrientos we are must on be the uh, edge like of shitty journalism. She just got a her, raise. Well, her age must end in like five or seven because obviously she can't even. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she can't even that's great oh my fuck uh, this bitch and her article yeah we wow. did this last episode didn't yeah didn't we cut into the person who wrote the article because yeah. it's trash journalism this yeah. is garbage it's it's not even it, it's such an insult to journalism that you it, can't yeah, even it call it an article no it's not an article now where do you find this section of it looks like a if the, it's Bing, man, what's oh, he's on Bing. I swear oh. to fucking God, Ward is on Bing again because for some reason, Ward is always on Bing. It's one of 11 reasons. Let me open up a on. Google <laughs> browser. Oh, yeah, let's let's see what Chrome can do for us. Uh, Chrome doesn't do anything, no, it just uh is like, oh, you want to Google something because that's what <laughs> that's what people yeah. do on the internet like 90% of the time is just Googling something. News, news, and they tried to fight it like, like Adobe tried to fight people saying photoshop it like photoshop is a verb now yeah and it has been since you were doing photoshop oh yeah but but they tried to fight it so hard they, they like, wanted to copyright no, it you want to be like kleenex yeah see in these news articles are nothing like who gives a shit about any of this shit yeah that's not grabbing that doesn't grab me by so, the groining no i mean I, I gotta I, hand it to bing hey I mean, ms ms texas woman uses rifle to shoot kill alleged peeping tom 
Oh, hey, I was taking a dump. We're going to find morning. out. She just has a cooking blog. I was taking a dump. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> this morning, and the pooping Kong cat is back. <laughs> I don't know why that made me laugh so hard, but holy shit, that was funny. And you're contagious. We're going to find out she's got a cooking blog. <laughs> Anyway, she shot this guy. So for a really great garlic bread <laughs> recipe, go to right. 